Well, the second half of this school year has certainly not been normal by any stretch for districts across New York. The state's first closure order would have ended tomorrow, but now, of course, it's not until May 15th. Well, two on your side's Jackie Roberts has a look at how some local districts are handling it. With Governor Andrew Cuomo officially extending New York's pause order until May 15th, schools remain closed. The superintendents with the City of Niagara Falls and the City of Salamanca say one of the biggest challenges they've had to overcome is the digital divide among students. We uh, struggle in the southern tier, as do many parts of the state, with a digital poverty that makes an online platform challenging at uh, the very least. By adding hotspots and other technical support, they've been able to persevere. But as we inch closer to mid-May, there could be additional obstacles. I can think of ways where we could have kids in school and have very limited movement, but I can't fathom how we would do is transport 5,000 students from their home to school. And, and I can't see how we could do that and still keep the proper social distancing. Ultimately, the decision as to whether or not schools reopen this academic year lies with the state. We can add our input, we can make our suggestions, but we're really at the, at the decision making of the governor at this point in order for us to meet that 180 day requirement in order for us to get our full state aid. And if they say we'll be open, we'll mobilize just as we did when we had to shut down. And as soon as we can get students and staff back safely, I think that's the primary concern of everyone. There's also the question of end of year milestones, which both superintendents say they're already planning for. We're starting to talk to our students about graduation and what that could look like virtually or in some other uh, fashion. All across the state and across the country, we will find ways to celebrate those successes. It will certainly look different, but we will find time to celebrate. And we think that that's uh, positive and therapeutic for everyone in dealing with these um, very uncertain times. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.